Hi, this is Sage, the Balloon Sage, and I'm here on this beautiful beach to present my highly requested octopus balloon centerpiece. The octopus itself is formed from an orange-red agate round balloon and four orange twisting balloons, while the base is comprised of eight of these vibrant blue agate rounds that are ideal as a visual representation of swirly yet tragalocean waters that the sublime cephalopod calls home. With the addition of animated eyes, exhalated bubbles, and seaweed spirals. The whole underwater scene comes to life. Let's begin by inflating the red-orange agate round rather thoroughly for that distinctly bulbous aesthetic. Perfect. Fully inflate a quartet of orange 260s. Fold them exactly in half, a pair at a time. Pinch the back nice and tight, and then spin at the centers, forming this big X shape. Repeating the process will give you two Xs, which you then spin at the centers the same way, quite thoroughly, creating this wild starburst. Attaching the head is a breeze. You just need a nice stretchy nozzle on your agate as you pull down and into the starburst center. And it's like that. Winding profusely around every wriggling tentacle with friction taking the place of a knot. Now you can take one look at this friendly eye printed 5 inch round by Qualitex and determine that it would require a lot of marker art to achieve this effect. So what I do is inflate a pair one full pump each, up, down, pull off, and with a bit of image stretching we can give our octopus these big anime eyes which really creates a fun aesthetic. And we'll tie in the back, pair them up by linking the nozzles. Then simply wrap around the center of the octopus. Think of it as his neck. <laughs> so we just have him. Just like that. Cross him over. Position. And that's it. Inflate four blue agate rounds. Twelve pumps each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Always counting on the downstroke. I like to round it off and give it a nice nod. If you've ever made balloon decor before, you'll know that pairing up the balloons two at a time and spinning them at the centers creates a wonderful shape called a quad, which is pretty much standard for any balloon decor design, whether it be column, arch, or in this case, centerpiece. Inflate four agates, seven pumps each. Of course, you can customize the size of the balloons, but this is the way that I like to do it. Five, six, seven. Pull off. Stretch a little bit to make the pattern look nicer on these underinflated balloons. And tie off two pairs and spinning in the centers. Form a slightly smaller quad that will naturally be perched on top of the larger one. Now all you need is a small length of curling ribbon, which we'll just snip off here, and tie directly into the base, like so. We'll just wrap it around, a couple of balloons, press down, smaller quad, intersect into the grooves of the previous, pull up, push down, wrap around, balloons, both levels, and just make sure you don't cut off this extra ribbon because we're going to need it to attach the octopus. On to the seaweed, which is actually one of my favorite snacks. Fully inflate three green twisting balloons, forming a tight spiral with each. We just fold over as we did with the tentacles. Grab at the bottom. And using both hands, dexterously manipulate both the ends, creating the twist and ending the spiral with two bubbles about that size, spun together, perfect. I like to use a 260 scrap, probably from one of these in case they pop, 
And I tie the end to each of these little pairs of bubbles. So we do this with a pair of seaweed spirals. There's one. And here's the other. Kind of looking like some nunchucks or something here. Wind that in. Nice and stretchy, which is just perfect for sliding between the two quads. I'm sticking one out one side and one out the other. What's really cool is that these two bubbles actually will keep the seaweed spiral pointing skyward as opposed to limply falling over. So just manipulate those bubbles and you are all set. Now if you want an odd number of seaweed spirals, which is the look I go for, you can take the third and use another scrap and tie it directly into the center, or you can take your chances with friction and kind of just stick it in there. You can attach the octopus in a number of ways, but there will always be four tentacles with nozzles and four without. With the nozzles being linked under the base, in the front, and in the back. Then, just tie them together at the center. Now I was about to show you how to add structural stability to your centerpiece, but I realized if you tie the tentacles in tight enough, you actually don't need the extra ribbon. Customizing the flow and the curl of the tentacles employs a technique that will build up your hand strength while producing impressive results. It's a pinching, twisting motion with the index finger and thumb. Just like this. You don't want any bends at all because your hands play a dual role in directing the position and we'll get rid of any of that. Good. Maybe we want to switch direction, pinch, twist, and contort. Finally, I'll quickly demonstrate how I create my version of the exhalation illusion with a sequence of small and large bubbles. Large bubble, large bubble, and a small, small, large, twisted. This is the connection point, and we build upward. Now, large, small, large, small, large, large, and make a loop right here by twisting. Come back up. We're going to do a bird body with bubbles. Large, large, and spin it in up here. Push through. Connect those twisted points all the way through. Then come out the top with a Small, bubble, large, small, large, small, large, large, make that loop, but leave this small bubble separating these two. It's pretty much the same thing twice in a row. So we do large, large, and then there's one more at the top. So we twist in, or I guess bird body in. How do you, we push through to the other side. I'll just call it that. And there's a little bubble on top. Now just connect it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you check out all the other great balloon twisting and balloon decorating tutorials here on the Balloon Sage channel. Mm.